Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will show you how you can control the pan and tilt axis of your ESP32 camera remotely with the Blink application and servo motors. So let's get started with this video. For this project I am using this ESP32 cameras which we made in the previous video. All the programming and stuffs will be same as I have shown in the previous one. So watch this video on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then click on this subscribe button because we are very close to 100k subscribers. So please do hit that subscribe button and support my channel. Next thing you will need is this servo motors. You can use any servo motors, metal gear or you can even use the small servo motors. In this way you can mount the ESP32 cam on the servo motor so it will act like pan and tilt axis. In this way it will rotate. I have 3D printed these parts for my servo motors. I will leave a link for these files in the description down below. Now the printing is complete and we will assemble these parts. These parts are bit tight so I am using a hammer to insert it in these slots. Connect the servo motors and it's ready. So in this way you can control the pan and tilt axis with the servo motors. Now we'll stick the camera on the top of this. Now we'll need a node MCU board to control all this. So first connect this to your computer and download the Blink application and open it. Now click on new project. Give this project a name, I am giving ASP Cam Monitor. Now select the board, ESP32 Dev Board and click on Create. Now click on Add and Add Image Gallery. Resize this according to your size. Now click on the settings and give it Virtual 1 pin. Name it. Now we'll add sliders. You can add vertical or horizontal sliders according to your need. Now we'll select the pin that is V3 and we'll set the values from 0 to 180 as the server rotates till 180 degree and we'll add another slider and we'll give virtual 4 pin to this with the same settings and the application is ready. Now open the code, first we'll enter the Wi-Fi name then we'll enter Wi-Fi password now the authentication token is sent to us by the blink through mail then copy this and paste it over here. Now we'll select the board that is node mcu 12 e board. Select the port and upload this code. Now this is the circuit diagram. You have to connect the servo motors to D2 and D4 pins of your node mcu board and the power wire will go to 5 volt and ground that is VCC and the ground pins as shown in the diagram now I'm making a PCB so it will look neat and clean So after soldering all the connections, the PCB looks like this.
now i am taking this acrylic piece as a base we'll stick this servo motors over it and at the back we will stick our circuit i am using hot glue for this now we'll stick this camera on the top of this make sure the pins are exposed so we can power this camera now we'll connect the servo wires to our board i have added one extra pin on our pcb so we can use that pin and power our esp32 cam through it we just need 5 volt and ground pins so that we can power the esp32 cam now our setup is completely ready you can even connect the antenna of the esp32 cam now i'm using this 5 volt 2 ampere adapter to power this whole system now it's powered on now connect the blink application and it's ready to work scroll the sliders and you can press on the take picture button and it will take the picture from the camera and you can choose any angle you want through your sliders and control this you can even live stream from this camera on your browser it's not supported on the blink application but you can view from any browser so now i have stick this whole setup on the top of my room and now i will open the browser and type the ip address and we'll start the stream after selecting the resolution so yes we are getting the live stream and now we can control this whole system through blink application and change the angles of the camera as you can see it works very well so friends i hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.